G'day, I'm Bob from Paradise and I'd like to welcome you to our Facebook page. We've been here since uh, 1984, so that's a fair, fair while and what we'd uh, like to do, when I say here, we've been growing plants here in Nambour in Queensland since 1984 and what we'd like to do is share a lot of the secrets that we've unfolded in the years that we've been here. So, not only um, give you that uh, information that we've gleaned over the years, but we're also a working nursery and you'll have access to some of the some really unusual plants and some of the rarest plants in the world. Um, I could, I'll could, i mention a few, and, and but I can't mention them all, but uh, things like the jade vine, which many of you have heard about, we do that frequently. The giant bat plant, um, there's one there. We send them out about that size. Here's another one. That's a typical size we send out the bat plants. Most of our plants are probably about that size. That size pot, three inches across the top. And you can see they're not um, they're not babies. And uh, we've learned a lot. This is a good example of a plant we've learned a lot about. And there's lots of information that we've got on how to grow this plant and lots of others. So we're going to share that with you. Um, also things like the, the black anthurium. I don't think you'll find that in very many places. If you have a look at that flower, it's pretty we call it black queen. It's a very, very dark brown, but the closest thing that you'll get to, to black. We've also got a yellow anthurium. Um, plants like that um, that we'll let you know about, how to grow. We'll let you know how to propagate. Any information you like and you want to share uh, with the Facebook community, it'll be on our page. Rare ferns. We've got Angiopteris vector, the king fern, one of the uh, world's or it is the world's largest fern, gets the longest fronds in the world. We send that's even a smaller one than what we normally send out. Stag horns, of course, we send we send them. We send these all over Australia and around the world. Uh, direct to home gardeners. Um, Calatheas, they're always pretty. Here's another one. This is one of my favourites here. It's a, called Concina, Calathea Concina. Another one, Rosia Picta, that probably is my favourite one. Very pretty Calathea. Um, they're the size of the plants that we, we send. Gingers. That's a cerise tulip ginger. Nice size about it. And there's a lot of secrets into how you care for them and propagate them. Um, what else can I... Uh, tropical plants, lots and lots of different tropical plants and tropical and rare natives that you can actually eat. This one you can't eat, but that's called the ant plant. Grows an epiphyte on trees, very unusual. There's a tiny little flower in there. Can you see it? Not very spectacular, but an amazing plant, the ant plant. Orchids. I'll just put the one back. Um, lots and lots of different orchids. So we've got we've built up a lot of knowledge over the over the last um, few years, and we're going to share that with you. Um, if you um, want immediate access to some of this information, you'll find it on our uh, website at um, www.paraplants.com. Um, but also we'll be putting this information right through our Facebook page, and there'll be lots of discussions in our Facebook community. So if you think you like our, our page, um, please make us your friend and just click that like button up there and uh, I hope I'll catch you in on Facebook in the near future. See you later. Bye.